Welcome back to Lakeland. Paul Plack here at the Jefferson booth in Hangar C with Mark Ruger, who is the product manager for electronic charting products for Jefferson. Mark, what do you have to show us today? Well, Paul, what we've done is uh, we have our newest configuration in Flight Deck. And what Flight Deck is, is our electronic charting product for pilots to use on their electronic flight bags. It's optimized in its user interface and everything for, to make it easy and simple for pilots to enter airports and view their charts. And they can arrange those charts in any order they want, whatever suits them. And what we've really gone with the design on this is to make it easy for pilots to get at and read their charts while they're, while they're flying. Now, I know that the integration of products like this has improved over the years. You used to have to buy four or five different products from different sources to get everything you wanted in the cockpit. How much of this is pulled together in this product? Well, that's what's nice about this. Our JetView electronic charting service has everything. It's got all your terminal charts in an electronic format. It has all your en route charts in an electronic format. And then what a lot of other services don't include out there is we have all our text in an electronic format. So now you don't have to carry any paper whatsoever. It's, it's all there on your flight bag. When you say don't carry any paper whatsoever, that scares a lot of old timers. What, what do you have to cover someone in the event that their main system goes down? That, that's understandable, and that's, that's what's nice about the service is with JetView and Flight Deck, you have the capability of printing out paper charts exclusively. If you didn't want to use an electronic flight bag and use that in, while you're flying, you can always print out your paper charts in a paper format, however you want to, uh, whatever airports you want to print out. And the nice thing is it just eliminates a lot of the paper that you would normally have to carry that you're never going to use. You can customize what you want to print. Another nice issue there is now your revisions are done over the internet. Every 14 days it's taken care of or you can update by a CD, but there's no more having to worry about revisions. Is, it, uh, is there a version of it that's compatible with smaller device, portable devices too, that you can have as a backup? Uh, th these, these will all run on all the tablet PCs. It's a Windows-based operating format, so you can install it on your desktop, your laptop, any tablet PC on the market that's running Windows or tablet PC software. That's available. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect including the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ-50 at CirrusDesign.com. Well, walk us through some of the features that uh, are updated from the last time we saw you. Okay. Well, th this, is, this is what we brought out this April. This is called our Terminal Chart Viewer. And what this is, is this is this has been designed with just talking to a lot of pilots out in the market. We've had this on the market for well over six years now. And so this is just taking feedback from pilots that are up there using electronic charting. And you can kind of see where Flight Deck is optimized for a, a touch screen type display because pilots just want to get at information quickly, easily, and get back to flying the aircraft. So, this is what the pilot sees when he starts up the, the program, and it's all, it's all blank, and you can see we have airport, and this is your airport data and text data. So if I want to come over and select airports, what this is, what this is designed to do is I can set up a departure, a destination, and a couple alternates here for wherever I'm flying on that flight. And it's, it's easy as just, let, I'll go to the keyboard here and type in, for example, it has a plain language search capability, so you don't need to know what the identifier is for an airport. I can just type in Denver, and it will give me all the Denver airports that have charts associated with them. So in this case, let's say we're going to use uh, Centennial, uh, which is nearby us and so somewhat familiar with, and I just set Centennial as my departure airport. And then what I can do is I can do this very same thing for my destination and, and alternates. When I'm done, I can hit the complete button, and I've got my departure destination and two alternates all set up. What we do is we default to showing you the airport diagram for each and one of those airports. Now, what, what's nice about this program is now I can go into perhaps my departure at Centennial. I can add charts for that airport. And over here on the right, what we do to make it simple for the pilot is we, we segment out the chart types into airports, departures, arrivals, and your approaches. 
So if you know what you're looking for, you don't have to go list of, leaf them through the entire chart list to get out the charts that you want. So this is going to be my departure at Denver. So what I want to do is just add a, a standard instrument departure there. And I'll just, one of the ones I'm familiar with is the Yellowstone departure. And if I want to view that chart, I just click on that chart and up it comes. So if I want to review it, I can do that. And then this, this button over here is, you'll see a little plus sign with a clipboard, and that is, it's just asking, do you, do you want to add that to the clipboard for your airport? I will go up one, back up to the airport list, just in case there's another, another chart that I might, might want to select. I'll select an approach, and I'll just add the ILS 3.5 right to it in case I'm coming back for any reason. And I can add that to my list. So now, now I've pretty much selected what I want, and I can go one more level back up, and I'm back here to my departure. And you'll notice that I've added these three charts in the order that I want to want view them. From the mountains to the prairies. to the landings that we love. Garmin SVT, Synthetic Vision Technology. So at that point, anytime I want to view a chart, I just click on it. It brings up the airport diagram, for example. And what we are here is the interface where I start interacting with the charts. So what we do is we try to clear out all the screen real estate on an electronic flight bag so you can view as much of that chart as possible for that chart. Um, there's some nice functionality here that it has a drag zoom capability because some of this has got quite a bit of detail on it so I can zoom into the part of the airport that I want to look at. For example, like you were talking earlier, gee I want to see the taxiways that I've been cleared to so now I can, I can navigate off that chart a lot easier. If I want to go back out to the full screen view, I just click on resume, back to the main chart. Uh, and then these two, these two buttons up to the left and right, that just takes you through your clipboard in an orderly fashion. Like I can, I can scroll through the charts that I just set for that airport in order that I wanted to see them. So this is nice that so you can customize the charts for what you want to see. So now that's the whole goal is make it simple for the pilot. All I have to do is depress one button, I get the chart that I want to see. You're going to put the kneeboard manufacturers out of business. Uh, well, the, you know, we, we, we think it'll bring a lot of value. And, you know, the way we approach our software is how, you know, how much better information can I present to the pilot? Does it make it his job or her job simpler? And that's the whole, that's the whole basis for this is making a pilot's job easier so they're back out flying the aircraft. They get the information they want, and it's awesome. This strikes me, having flown into a few strange airports for the first time, as a, just a godsend to people who do that, because you might, uh, you, know, you might decide to fly someplace on a recreational flight of some duration or a vacation where you've never been before and haven't thought to bring the little green book and that sectional chart and all that. Absolutely, and that, that, that's the strength of this program, is when, when I'm coming in on the approach, I can put my arrival, my approach, and then my airport diagram just in that order. So all I have to do is one button click, and it just cycles through those charts the way I want them. And, and that's, that's the nice thing is, as, as, like you're saying, when I'm rolling out at an airport that I've never been at, perhaps at night, you know, a little few other factors there, you want to keep it simple, and it, it, it just keeps you, uh, you know, your situational awareness just substantially increases by getting at this information quicker.